Hey everybody, Matt Cantu from Fanfare here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Let's check out all the new books that will be coming out tomorrow. Starting off here in Marvel, we have The Amazing Spider-Man 89, Devil's Reign Superior 4, number 2, Fantastic Four, number 40. We also have Hulk, issue number 4 from Donny Cates. Cool variants of that. We have Chip Zdarsky, uh, Howard the Duck hardcover, a new number 1 here, Iron Fist 1, a new chapter in the Iron Fist mythos. We have King Conan, issue number three, Kang the Conqueror omnibus book there. We also have uh, Marvelverse Moon Girl. We have Marvel Voices Legacy, number one, uh, Moon Knight paperback, Aurora uh, paperback as well, Sword paperback, big weave paperbacks. We have Thor, number 22, Johnny Cates, very cool, angel cover. Uh, Venom, number five, Al Ewing back on the issue, crazy space sci-fi stuff. X Lives of Wolverine, number three. We have X Men, number eight. This is uh, Modoc Jean Grey. It's fantastic. Best thing this week. Moving on to DC. We've got some cool stuff to show you here. Starting off with Batman the Night, issue number two. We have a hardcover for Batman Detective, as well as Batman Detective Comics. Luke Fox Batwing paperback up there. We also have Flash and Green Lantern and a Joker War paperback. Justice League 72, Nightwing 89, Nubia number five, Robins number four. Suicide Squad King Shark 606 wrapping that one up. Same with Supergirl 8 of 8 finishing that one as well. 784 for the new Wonder Woman issue. And back in stock, Mr. Miracle. Moving on to the indie books. We have, I'm sorry, image books. A Man Among Ye for your pirate swashbucklings. We also have a Crowded paperback. Deep Beyond issue number 12. That has to be very close to the end. Echo Land's Raw Cut. Homesick Pilots number 12. King Spawn number 7 leading up to some very cool things. Awesome issue. Uh, we have Ordinary Gods, Volume 1, Primordial Number 6 from Jeff Lemire with this absolutely beautiful uh, astro astrology variant. Here's a virgin cover as well. We have uh, Joe Hill's Rain, Issue Number 2, A Righteous Thirst for Vengeance. We have Silver Coin, Number 9, Merc Andolfo's Sweet Paprika has came out with a Volume 1. Check it out. Time Before Time, Issue Number 10, Undiscovered Country, Volume 3, Walking Dead Deluxe, 33, and What's the Furthest Place from Here? That's your image for the week. On to Indies, we have Animal Castle with a new issue here. We also have Athena, Calm the Mirror, and Other Tales. We have Canto Lionhearted, number six. This is Charlie's Spot. We also have Cloaked, number 304. The Crimson Cage, number 305. Right here is Dirtbag Rapture. We have Dungeons and Dragons Mind Breakers, issue number five. Right there is Fiction Knots and Freak Show Kingdom. Over here we have two Grim Universe quarterlies, or spotlighted quarterly, Black Knight and Gretel, Bloody Mary. Uh, Heavy Metal has a new issue there, Hellboy, The Bones of Giants, 404, tying that one all together, the Northern Island Trilogy comic there. House of Slaughter came back with another reprint of the last issue, I think, Iron Head, one-shot comic there, Knighted, number 405, and The Last Days of the Forsaken, number one. A new number one, it's Garth Ennis, it's War, it's Aftershock Comics, what more do you need? It's going to be cool. We also have The Maniac of New York, Bronx is Burning, setting up for a crazy finale to this follow-up series. It was really cool. Uh, Mother Russia Winter Special. We also have My Bad and No Holds Barred. Uh, Nyx, number four. We have Orision, Origin, Pop Star Assassin. That looks pretty cool. Uh, red Sonya Black and White and Red, number seven. And the Overstreet Price Guide to Lost Universes. Over here we have the Regarding the Matter of Oswald's Body, issue number four. We have Reincarnated as a Dragon Hatchling, book number two. We have Restart After Growing Hungry. And we have Shadow Man, number six. We have Silence, number one. The Sword of Hyperborea, number two. Uh, TMNT 126, pretty good. Uh, we have Quad and these damn kids. I tell you. They get off my lawn. Transformers, issue number 40, Until My Knuckles Bleed, a new number one there from Victor Santos. We have Usagi Ojimbo, number 26, and this one's really cool. Old school classic vampire action. This is Vampires, number one. We have Vampires Carmilla, number eight, and Vampiverse, a big vampire week. We also have White River Monster, something something Cthulhu on the cover. I saw it, I read it. Uh, Angel, number two, and a really cool one. Saturday Morning Adventures, G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, based on the cartoon. Awesome stuff. Please check that one out. We have James Bond, Hemeros, with variant covers as well as Power Rangers number 16, with a whole bunch of covers to choose from, as well as Watchdog Legions, tying that all together onto the kiddo books and to show you some toys. We have Katie the Cat Sitter, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, Volume 7 Omnibus. We have The Princess Who Saved Friends. Saved her friends, not just friends. Uh, Rosa Parks, really good looking one there. And Saved by a Whisker. 
Toys. We got toys. Substantially less pops in the last two weeks. Starting off here with pops. We have this gigantic black light style PX exclusive Galactus holding the Silver Surfer. Black light reflective or reactive. It's awesome. We also have Soli from Monsters Inc. Poly Pocket Shell. We have the Simpsons Emperor Montemus as well as Bartigula. Bartigula? A Play Doh container. Wild. And some Chia Pet action. We have the Child. There's two different versions of that. There are two different versions. You can have him in the carriage, or you can have him just standing looking all cool and grogy. Uh, Elvira Chiapet, fan freaking tastic. Chucky, looking a little Bob Rossish, and Ewok. We have four year band prestos. We have Goku, three demon slayers just slaying up them demons. Ha 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 ha. We also have the Witcher Wild Hunt figures, Geralt of Rivera, and Siri. For NECA stuff, we have American Werewolf in London, Ultimate Nightmare Demons, looking pretty cool, as well as Homelander from the boys. Pretty cool, screen accurate stuff. We also have a PVC diorama of Brandon Lee and the Crow. Fantastic stuff. This absolutely beautiful Gentle Giant 1-6 scale Princess Leia Organa statue. The detail on her face and the box kind of shows you, but it's ridiculous. I've seen few statues that look that accurate to her actual face. We have some magnets over here, a whole slew of Mandalorian stuff, and a couple cool variants to check out. A couple Iron Fist ones for this big new first appearance. So come get it, slab it, do what you gotta do. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, get a hold of us at the store. It is 269-349-8866. Have a good night.